Oh, yeah, I see them over there. Team AUC Emotives, please come on the stage. I'm going to warn you when you have one minute left to pitch, then I'm going to wave with my hand. And when I wave with my hand for the second time, you have 10 seconds to finish your presentation. Otherwise, I'll have to cut you off, OK? And it doesn't really make me a nice person, but otherwise, it's not fair. Hello everybody, uh, I'm Abu Bakr from the AUC Imhotob's team and this is my colleague Mayada. Today we are stressing on the, potential, uh, 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 on the potentiality of our uh, product. I will handle the medical application of the product and uh, Mayada will talk about the industrialization and commercialization of this product. Uh, first of all, we have to remember that uh, cardiovascular disease are the causing, uh, uh, are the leading cause of death worldwide, with uh, one to two percent of every adult above 40 years old will manifest heart failure at certain point, and this will increase by 10 times after the age of 70. So. Our target population will be uh, elderly, uh, uh, adult especially elderly, high risk groups, uh, both sexes are targeted uh, and we, our target market will be the Middle East area where uh, we, uh, uh, we already uh, live and, uh, and uh, manage the market and this area is of uh, a very high risk uh, consideration. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay, uh, what does our uh, patient need? H heart failure patients are uh, mostly uh, chronic patients that uh, most of them suffer from uh, shortness of breath and this is uh, the, uh, their daily complaint. Most of these patients try to minimize this complaint and minimize doctor visits, minimize hospitalization. So uh, a lot of, uh, of cases may be missed at homes uh, and go into acute heart failure. And this was stressed on one uh, week ago in Barcelona, a European Society of Cardiology meeting. Uh, what about our doctors? Uh, let me talk to you as a double agent. I'm a cardiologist and I'm doing my, uh, my degree also in biotechnology. So as a cardiologist, I will tell you everyday story. The ER physicians come to me and tell me, we have a patient with shortness of breath. You need to admit this patient in your ICU. I tell him uh, we need some time to do some uh, uh, investigations and confirm the diagnosis. He says, just admit him. We have a lot of polytrauma patients, blah, blah, blah. And then we got a patient with pneumonia in our department because we didn't have enough time to confirm our diagnosis. Uh, if we have a bedside accurate and rapid method for confirmation, it would help a lot. If you think I'm biased in this, this is not only my opinion, but it's also uh, our expert's opinion. We uh, uh, interviewed some of uh, the leading cardiologists in Egypt, and they stated that this is a major problem. We also conducted a survey that showed that most of cardiologists think that uh, uh, diagnosing and confirming heart failure is of, uh, of a moderate difficulty and that lung diseases are the main confusing points. Uh, about two-thirds of these don't use NT ProBNB mostly because of financial problems or availability of NT ProBNB testing. And most of them, uh, uh, and uh, most of the doctors who use NT ProBNB use lab tests that takes a lot of time. Uh, so, we asked them uh, what type of uh, product will be suitable for them and they voted for the products with low prices, high accuracy, that takes around 10 to 30 minutes and uh, they think that mobile application may be helpful. So if you have a product uh, that uh, uses just a drop of blood and uh, uses a mobile inter, uh, interface that is uh, really friendly for doctors and patients, this product is uh, uh, time uh, efficient and uh, price affordable. As a doctor or a patient, why not to go for this product? Thank you, and I'm handing to Mayada. Uh, hi, everybody, Mayada. 
Uh, now we are going to talk about uh, the Egyptian market. Basically, the Egyptian market is uh, different than uh, the European market or uh, the uh, American market. So basically, we get closer to our patient needs. What really uh, they need, okay? Basically, we go to uh, the economical uh, situations. Uh, the date of November 3rd, uh, 2016, this was uh, the Egyptian devaluation of the Egyptian bound. Uh, that made uh, actually a hard uh, economic uh, conditions. Uh, so basically, they decreased uh, the Egyptian bound by 48%. Uh, from its currency against uh, the uh, US dollars. Uh, so, uh, and then we, uh, okay, so basically we came with ideas that are convenient and creative. Basically, the, uh, the most convenient idea was the lateral flow assay. Um, okay, okay. Uh, okay, and thank you. I'm sorry, but the time, the five minutes uh, had passed. Is there anyone who has any questions? I have a question around the natural flow essay, the selection of that. So, um, why did you choose that direction? And, and do you think it will have enough performance for what you're looking for? Okay. Can you repeat the question in the microphone? Basically, we go to the lateral flow assay because it's uh, it's easy to be manufactured rather than the microfluidics because it's challenging in the market of Egypt. Okay, and we compared it uh, with the competitors uh, in the international competitors like Abbott and Roche and uh, and uh, Samsung. Okay, and it's in higher in uh, bare device. Uh, it, it manufacturing uh, is lower than uh, the test uh, for. Uh, Per each uh, per each uh, competitor, uh, for the mass production, we estimated the the um, the, uh, the price uh, for device uh, less than uh, thirty uh, hundred uh, USD dollars. The second question I had was: Do you think it will have the performance you need out of the Yeah. Yeah, we uh, actually we have got uh, some problems uh, from the purchasing, okay, because the uh, the economic situations and the political situations, okay. So uh, we had a problem in purchasing, uh, and this we are going to explain this problem uh, shortly uh, in the technical pitch, uh, so that uh, we try to purchase them, uh, but we go for the prototype that we are coming with is a fast Eliza, okay. More questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation.